don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in, or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templars. Red Cliff is in the hands of a Magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. So we've heard from Magister Alexius. I expected as much. And yet some of us want to sit and do nothing. Not this again. Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die. And we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we don't even try to meet Alexius, we lose the mages and leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would provoke a war. Our hands are tied. The Magister... ...has outplayed us. Fine. We go get the Templars and they help us deal with Alexius. My spies report the Mages have already mobilized for war. Even if we succeed at recruiting the Templars, it will be too late to stop Alexius. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. Forget the mages. We still have another option for closing the breach. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. Too risky. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. While they're focused on Lavelle, we break the Magister's defenses. It could work, but it's a huge risk. Fortunately, you'll have help. This man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. We can still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you. Templars must help us close the breach. The Order was founded to fight magic. We must first convince the Lord Seeker to bring the Templars out of exile. We've received word from a knight recruit. They gather at Therenfall Redoubt. It has been vacant for decades. Why go there? We must approach the Lord Seeker again to get anywhere. We can ask him then. If we want the Templars to be useful, we need them under control. To lure them into obedience, we must become a more tempting ally. If it's status the Lord Seeker seeks, the Inquisition will approach him after allying with the noblest houses in Orlais. They'll come with us to Therenfall and demand the Templars' help close the breach. You believe that will work? Even the Lord Seeker would find it difficult to ignore so many nobles on his doorstep. Yes, especially when led by the Herald of Andraste. The Lord Seeker barely knows I exist. Rumors you were saved from the Fade by Andraste have grown legion among the Templars. We've done our part to encourage them. A herald with a few companions may be dismissed, easily set aside. That same herald returning with noble support will be reconsidered, as will the power of the Inquisition. If I have a growing reputation, we may as well use it. If it moves the Templars to question the Lord Seeker's orders, he may rethink his stance. With respect, after his appearance in Valroyo, hang what the Lord Seeker thinks. We do not need the Lord Seeker. We need his Templars, with or without his approval. The breach will not wait for our differences to settle. 
good news. Several noble or legion houses will petition the Templars to help us stop the breach. Lord Dabernash will approach you. Sign nothing he offers, but his gossip's reliable. I hope he knows the Lord Seeker's mood. The Templars will never help without his consent.